Vanderpump Rules is an addictive dish of romance and rumor served up with a side of scandal. But can all that drama you see on television really be natural? Here's a look at the untold truth of Vanderpump Rules. Jax had other plans. Though he seems born to be a reality TV star, Florida native Jax Taylor originally had other plans. You know, besides cheating scandals and elaborate lies. In fact, according to a Bravo special, Jax was actually planning to move back home to become a firefighter. If it wasn't for, I'd have to say, Stassi Schroeder and Lisa Vanderpump, I'd be in Florida right now fighting fires. Sheena originally said no. It's hard to imagine Vanderpump Rules without Sheena Marie, but she originally turned down producers when they approached her because she was focusing on her acting career and didn't want the stigma of being a reality star. She eventually changed her mind after producers revealed it would focus on the cast's careers, telling Lifetime UK, I wasn't all about it until I sat down with the producers, and they talked about what a career-driven show it was and how it would focus on us following our own career paths too, and then I was really excited to do it. Katie is the low-maintenance one. She may have started her beauty blog pucker and pout out of a love for all things beauty, but that doesn't mean Katie Maloney is obsessed with appearance. In fact, she actually likes to go the natural route. Maloney told Glamour that she even makes her own shaving cream out of olive oil and aloe vera gel. You just whip it up and it works as well as any other product you can find. The reality star is also a big fan of shampooing her hair just once per week. As she says, that's what dry shampoos are made for. Sometimes true love prevails. After watching a season or two of Vanderpump Rules, it's easy to lose faith in romance, what with all the relationship drama and everything. Well, don't lose faith in love just yet because Ariana Maddox and Tom Sandoval are actually the real deal. Ariana told All Things Real Housewives, Tom and I have had the relationship of my dreams since day one. The openness, honesty, and sense of adventure that we share is very exciting for both of us. We find adventure in everything and love to explore the world together. There is a lot of that in our future. Paging Dr. Schwartz Much like would-be fireman Jax Taylor, co-star Tom Schwartz could have ended up following a completely different career path, one that might have landed him in the hospital. For good reasons, though. He told Modent Mag, I was pre-med in college, but what I really wanted to do was act. I thought, who am I to think I can be an actor? I tried to deny the feeling for a while, but then I got into print modeling work and the entire being on set thing was really fun. Secret Alliances If you ever wondered why the reunion specials can be so heated, well, that's because there might be some behind-the-scenes strategy involved. After the season 4 reunion, Tom Sandoval told E! News that he believed some of his co-stars had formed an alliance to protect each other. We're in those chairs for a total of nine and a half hours. In that entire time, not a single time did Stasi, Sheena, Katie, nor Kristen have a single disagreement with each other. Anytime anything was said about any one of them, you had to talk to at least two of them. They met the day before and hung out, so obviously they had some sort of alliance or agreement or whatever. Stasi is no stranger to reality TV. Given how well Stasi Schroeder plays for the cameras, it should come as little surprise that Vanderpump Rules marks her third major reality TV show. After appearing on The Amazing Race in 2005, Schroeder was cast a year later in Queen Bees, which was supposed to be about seven mean girls living together. One problem, they weren't actually mean, so they had to fake it. Schroeder told Entertainment Tonight, once it all ended, I was like, I just had to do full-on method acting to make this work. I had nightmares for, oh my god, so long after that show. That cameras were always filming me and making me be something I'm not. When you're filmed 24-7, it's scary. I couldn't do that again. It's all who you know. In an interview with Glamour, Schroeder explained why their group is so insular. You basically have to know someone who works there to have a chance at getting a job. Everyone who starts working there is either a friend of a friend or they know someone. We never really hire anyone who walks off the street and hands in a resume. I had friends who were working there and I was always coming in for drinks and I just figured I might as well work here. I'm here all the time. According to Jax, the competition around town for jobs is pretty stiff. It sounds weird, but it's actually harder to get a bartending job in this town than it is an acting job. It's extremely difficult. They don't care what your experience is. It's sad to say, but it goes on a looks thing. It's basically, can we get a headshot? We don't care where you've served before, can we just have a headshot? Ah, Los Angeles. Thanks for watching! Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too!